Hello, everyone. Shantae here. Excuse me. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I am here. As the title suggests, I have um, been challenged to a quick um, flash challenge with the lovely Lady Cree here on the YT. And as you see in the title, it's what's the T. Hey. <laughs> like my um my LT LGBTQIA community, they be saying, What's the T, honey? What's the T? <laughs> Every time they say that, it just cracks me up. What's the tea? What's the tea? <laughs> let me let me chill out. So I'm gonna apologize for the noise. If y'all hear it in the background, my dryer is on. So um, but for real, she challenged me to to make some um uh, tea things, tea theme uh, items, and we only had to make two. And y'all know I love all things tea, coffee, butterfly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> But I um found a digital uh paper off of Etsy. It's on it was on sale for like a dollar or two dollars, something like that. I rarely pay um, above that. It was on sale, so I purchased it. And I was drawn to the greens that was in this collection. I found maybe six tea themes, but I absolutely love the green. So I printed this out. On my 12 by 12, I was going to do something with it, but I didn't. And then you can see I printed it wrong. I put it in my printer wrong so the patterns are not going the same direction. But this just give you an idea um, of the prints. And I try to only print what I'm going to use, but you just never can tell with that. This is another sheet right here. And then that's the green right there. So cute. All right, so this is what I made. Yes. Get into it. Get into it. Packed with power, baby. Packed with <laughs> Pack with power. Let me stop this cut up. Okay. So, this is what I made. So, let's This is what I um Use. I made a mistake and put the hole in the back instead of I wanted this to be the front. This is recollection glitter card stock as well. And you see the pieces from the set. It says T and I got a heart and a flower there. Okay. And I also challenged myself to use stuff that I had never used before. So that's what I just showed you. I used the Stamps of Life. The teapot teapot folded makes a folded card, and I added her um large boxic die. We have a large and a small. I added the large one and made it into a box. Okay, uh, and then I also used this set right here with the dies as well for that. All right, so let me show you my little folded card right here it has the same stuff as the box and then you just open it up and i just realigned it so i could have a place to write and of course it does stand up boom so that's the card next up i made these cute little boxes now i had um now i had placed an order with craft stash it's going on a year now. And uh, Audrey, who was so good out here, sent me a message and told me that they had their dyes and stuff at, like, dirt cheap prices. So I went and placed the order. Everybody was getting their order. Mine never came. They didn't ship my order. So they sent me. So I contacted them. They sent me what was in stock. And it's taken almost a year to get this rectified, to get the rest of my order. With that being said, this little box came in today. Um... And which is what I picked as a replacement because the items that they um, didn't ship me, well, of course, was out of stock. And y'all know how everything is on the boat. And so I just asked them, could I just get something else in their spot? And so I picked this die and it does uh, box. It does do three by three. And I was going to put some three by three cars in there. 
only when I realized the box itself measures three by three. So it's no way a three by three card will fit in here. But this is the box. And I just decorated the top with the scraps. Uh, these right here are from the Stamps of Life. I use these ginger doilies that she made in honor of ginger, ginger her passing. And then I use this set right here. And I use the dies that comes that was made for this set. And then that is from the Stamps of Life, the set I've already showed you. So here is this box. And I do like the box because you don't actually need any glue. They tuck into themselves. And then this all tucks in. So I actually do like that. So here's that one. And here is the second one. And that basically means uh, I love you. All right. So next up, I used, I made this. And this was a flash, so I had to do stuff that was quick, honey. I, I, you know, y'all know I'm slow. Um, I use this Catherine Pooler set. It's a gift card to gift card to die. Gift card to go. Um, again, stuff that I bought have never used. So this is um the gift card. This is uh my creative time die, and her stamp set. This is the die right here. I used to put on the front. The paper, of course, came with the digital, and then it just opens like that, and that's the gift card. So, really simple and easy. I just put the gift card in there so you can see it's, you know, it actually do holds the gift card. Have a terrific day, and you see the, t the tea kettle right there. Last thing, I purchased this um, recently from Tonics, Tonic Studio. This set right here, it came with this one in a cup and a birthday set. But I used this, and I just used the card on the front for inspiration because, again, I was on the flash. We trying to do this in the flash, and I didn't have time to think. So this is the card front right here, and I just stickled it up because I my hands slipped with the glue. And so what I do, if I have any glue showing, even when the glue, they say the, the glue dries clear, it still has some residue for me, and I can't stand it. So when it does that, I just go over with uh, a glitter pen to uh, so you can't see it. So um, see, that's that. And you can do uh, make a shaker and everything out of these pieces. And then I did a, um, I made the base, you know, I fold it. You can make any die cut out of a folded. I just love Stamps of Life because she does the work, but you can make your own. And so that's what I did. And then this one, I just used the tag in it as a stop, and you can write your message right there. All right, so that is what I made. This card, this gift card holder, uh, this uh, folded card. Didn't put any um, message on there because I didn't want to cover up the T. Normally, if I had had enough time, I would have shrunk the image down so I could get more of the print. But I didn't have time to do all that because uh, this was in the flash, honey. Y'all know. Your girl be slow. These two boxes as well as uh, this box folded. All right. Hey, sweetie. Sweet tea. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I can't wait to see what Miss Lady Cree, Miss Lucretia, has made for our viewing pleasure on today. I hope you guys love my green um, inspired tea set and how I presented it. I love the way that, that everything turned out. I just got to figure out what I am going to put in this little box. I got some ideas already, though, but we'll see. This will make a good, a great gift set. One of the cards you could use to write a message to the recipient, and then they can have the other one to bless somebody else with and put some treats in or whatever the case may be. So I am pleased with my projects. And so until the next time, I'll be back with another video. You guys have a blessed day. And check out her channel, linked in the description box below, to see what the tea is all about.